Hi everyone, Happy New Year, Happy 2019. Um, I'm posting my first video of the year and the first video that I've made in a long time. A lot has happened in the past year. I gave birth to my first child in June 2018. Um, I have a very wonderful six month year old little boy that I love so much. Um, and I also moved. Um, I went from a rental to buying a house with my husband. Um, so there's been a lot of change, um, and it's been kind of hectic, so I just haven't really found the time to make any videos. Um, but now it's the new year, so I'm setting a new goal to post more videos, and so I'm making one today. And I thought um, it'd be nice to post some of my favorite drugstore beauty products. Um, I decided to do this because... Um, with the territory of buying a house, moving, and giving birth to my first child. There's a lot of new expenses um, for us. So there's, you know, we're trying to cut costs different ways and save money. Um, so I just wanted to share with you some drugstore beauty products I've been using um, lately this winter and pretty much um, for the most part since I gave birth. Um, and moves. Um, I just like these and I thought I would share them with you. Um, so I will go through them now and I think um, the first thing that I will start with is something I've mentioned before in my blog plenty of times. Oh and I just want to say I'm not wearing any makeup right now. Um, I actually caught conjunctivitis from my baby which is kind of gross. Um, he got a cold and then he got the conjunctivitis from his cold, and it kind of just got passed around my whole household. We've been disinfecting stuff like crazy, washing linens and washing our hands nonstop, but I still managed to catch it. Um, so I'm wearing my glasses, not my contacts, and I'm not wearing any makeup because my eyes just feel gross. I don't want to put anything on my face um, unless I have to. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to mention um, is the Burst Bees Renewal renewal firming day lotion uh, with SPF 30 and this is it and it is a daily moisturizer that I use on my face um, so after I wash my face in the morning or get out of the shower and dry it off I put this on my face um, so it not only provides SPF coverage but it also moisturizes your face which is really great um, it sells for about 20 bucks at Target or CVS or anything like that um, and I really like it. I think it provides deep moisture and it's supposed to lift your skin a little, which I like and I need as I'm aging. Um, so I think it is a pretty good, pretty good deal and it works pretty well and it doesn't break me out. Um, the next thing I'm going to talk about is also a moisturizer. And it's the Weleda Skin Food. I saw Lisa Eldridge using this on Kate Bosworth when she was doing a makeup look a few months ago, and I was like, what is that? And then I saw that um, it was actually pretty affordable. I think it's around $12.99 or something like that at Target. And, and you probably, I think you can buy it off Amazon too. But um, I mean, that's pretty affordable considering other products could be like 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. I don't know, however you much you want to spend on moisturizer. Uh, this is a really good deep, rich moisturizer that I use on my face at nighttime. And um, it's like really, really thick. And not you can use it all over your body. You don't have to just use it on your face. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. She you know like my hair model? Can you tell? I feel like you can barely tell. So anyways, yeah, it's really thick. And I feel like it kind of smells like citrus or something. Um, really, really thick moisture. And I love it. I use it all over. But mainly just using it on my face because um, if I use it all over my body, I'll go through it too really fast. It's for dry and rough skin, such as on hands, feet, and elbows. Oh, I do use it on my hands a lot, though, too. So my face and my hands. Um, this just provides such great moisture and it also layers really well underneath makeup. Um, so sometimes if I'm doing my makeup, um, for like a special event, I really, I barely ever do my makeup anymore because there's just no time with my 
baby and working full time and not getting enough sleep. Um, so, but if I am going to do my makeup really for a special event or something like that, um, for a holiday, I guess, I don't really have any special events I go do anymore, but, um, I'll do a face mask and then I use this as a moisturizer underneath my makeup, which is great. Uh, the next thing I'll bring up is a, um, a makeup remover. This is the Bioderma, and this stuff is amazing. It It's a makeup removing, um, I don't know if it's considered a micellar water or whatever those things are called, um, but it removes everything, and so it's so great. You just soak a couple cotton pads in this, put them on each eye, and let it absorb your eye makeup and then once you get that off you can work around your whole face to remove makeup it's really quick easy a bottle lasts a long time well at least for me because i don't wear makeup every day um but it's just so wonderful and easy and effortless it's just great because you don't have time and you just or if you're just at the end of the day you're too tired um, it's great or maybe you're too drunk to take your makeup off so you want something that's easy so you don't pass out in it uh, that's what I was joking with my friend lately. Don't worry, I'm not getting too drunk and passing out. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, anyways, um, yeah, I think this works really well and it's not drying or anything like that. And I feel like my skin looks really refreshed after I use it and I really like that. I don't use it every day, but I just use it if I'm wearing, pretty much I usually just use it when I wear eye makeup um, beyond mascara. Um, that's a lot of ums, I think, but yeah, I really like it and I recommend checking it out. It's fast and effortless and it's, it's just so much easier than using, um, I don't know, a cold cream I find is a little harder to get makeup off, so it's a lot easier than that. Um, so now I'm bringing up another thing I use for makeup that's budget friendly, um, which is coconut oil, extra virgin organic coconut oil. Um, so on my maternity leave, it was, you know, I was lucky if I took a shower, uh, and breastfeeding 24 seven, not sleeping. Um, so, but when I did wash my face and I just, I just didn't have a chance to repurchase my favorite, like fancy expensive face wash. Um, and I was on a budget of not getting paid for like the last four or six weeks of my leave or something like that. Um, so I've been using coconut oil to wash my face. So I would just um get like a teaspoon or maybe even less amount of it out of here and I would warm it between my hands and then rub it on my face uh rub it on my face you know dry face and then I would use a warm washcloth to get it all off and it just left my skin refreshed it's like lightly exfoliated but not really um and just provide a nice clean surface for my skin excuse me I just kind of burped I'm drinking a seltzer so it made me burp sorry um, but we get used to all type of bodily fluids in this house, you know, once you have your baby. Um, so the next thing that we talk about is, I don't know if they sell this at the drugstore. Uh, I know they sell it at Amazon, is the Smith's Rosebed Salve. And I've been using this for years and years and years, and a tin of this can last you forever. I like to keep a, a tin of it on my nightstand, and I just put it on my lips to keep it moisturized. You can put it around here when it gets really dry in the wintertime, which I just did because I've been blowing my nose a lot. Um, and yeah, I think that pretty much says it. It's just a great chapstick type thing. And then the next thing I'm coming on to are hair products. So I really, I felt like I spent way too much time trying to find a natural hair product for myself because um, I was kind of getting OCD about it um, with breastfeeding. I didn't want unnatural chemicals running down my body um, if I'm going to be nursing my baby. Um, so I got an Andalou Naturals shampoo and conditioner to use while I'm breastfeeding. And I think it's worked pretty well. I, I bought them off Amazon. They're a lot cheaper than other products like Oreb or stuff like that. Uh, but it's not as cheap as like saying buy, buy a swab or something like that. Um, but with postpartum hair, um, a lot of people, I think everyone, but I'm not going to say everyone because I'm not sure, a lot of women lose their hair. So 
I definitely lost a ton of hair. Um, it may not look like it, or maybe you can tell. Um, I normally have a ton of hair anyways, like a ton, a ton, a ton of fine hair that's wavy and frizzy. And so, um, and then I also have like a flaky scalp always, all the time. It's really annoying. So I can never buy the shampoos I want to buy because I always have to buy something for people with the flaky scalps because I'm gross. So anyways, um, going down a rabbit hole here, but... So I found this Anu Natural Shampoo and Conditioner, Lavender and Biotin for Lift Body and Shine. And I just got, I, I finished the ones that I bought a few months ago. So I just bought new ones off Amazon. They come together, you can buy them together. And these are great. So these provide Lift Body and Shine. They're good for your scalp. So it helps keep my scalp clean and moisturized. And the biotin is really good for your hair. Um, so it's supposed to be good for people that are losing their hair. Um, so I'll read the description because I feel like it will say it better than I can explain it. Fruit stem, excuse me, fruit stem cell complex in lavender gently refresh and stimulate as biotin B complex nourishes with essential proteins to support strength, texture, and manageability. The result is noticeably thicker, fuller hair with greater lift, body, and silky shine. So anyways, yeah, I'm using these and I really like them. I feel like my hair looks pretty healthy for the most part. Um, I realize it's disgustingly long and I'm getting my hair cut this weekend. So that should be nice. I haven't had my hair cut since last spring, I think. Um, so I'm excited to do that. And have a little, you know, self-care moment where they'll blow dry my hair. Um, but I really suggest trying this out if you're suffering from postpartum hair, postpartum hair loss, or even if you have finer hair and want something uh, for a little more body that's natural. Um, it's just, I don't know, I feel like it works really well. And my hair isn't styled at all, so you might be looking at my hair like, oh, your hair's gross, who cares? Um, but, you know, I have... I have have not really styled my hair at all. I think I did it once for Keaton's christening, but um, my hair's so long that it kind of looked bad anyways because I just straightened it and it was just like long, long, long straight hair. I don't know. So anyways, but this, it definitely keeps the hair healthy. So that's the main important, like the important part that I'm trying to say. So um, yeah, I would recommend giving it a try and reading our reviews on Amazon. They're all really great. Um, so those are all the drugstore kind of affordable-ish skincare things that I've been doing and using um, to try to cut corners with costs. Um, you know, I, I really miss having a disposable paycheck where I could just go on Sephora and spend like $200 and it was amazing. But um, no, that's not realistic now, um, which is okay. I'll survive. Having a baby is way better than spending that money on like random shit I don't really need, excuse me, I need stuff, can I say that, oh well, I just did, um, anyways, so, um, yeah, I hope you're able to find something that you like in here, if you have any questions or comments, please let me know, or if you have any other suggestions for me for good, like, naturalish um, beauty finds, I realize that not everything I mentioned is natural, but I tend to lean on the side of natural and organic skincare so if you have suggestions like that i would love it um so i think that's it for now i hope to be posting more videos and maybe i'll do a makeup one soon i don't know we'll see i would like to do one but i feel like i'm still using all the same makeup as the last time i did one last year so maybe not um yeah so thank you for watching and if you have any questions please let me know and I hope you have a great day and happy 2019. I don't know how many times I've said that. All right.